this invention of ours has really a lot of potential to change a disease that hasn't seen a therapeutic breakthrough in the last 100 years. If you were diagnosed with glioblastoma 50 years ago versus today, overall survival is not that different. So uh, we do have high hopes for this, that it will actually change our patients' lives. Hi, I'm Beth Fisher, Director of Life Science Intellectual Property at Worth. I had the pleasure of helping this team with their high potential technology. If you're a UW-Madison researcher and you have an invention to disclose to Worf, feel free to contact me or use the information on your screen or in the description below. Now, stay tuned to learn more about this work. I'm Mahua Day. Uh, I'm a neurosurgeon scientist with UW-Madison. I'm uh, Jacques Gallopo. I'm a uh, physician scientist, associate dean for therapeutics development at the uh, University of Wisconsin School of Medicine Public Health. For glioblastoma, that's the disease we're trying to treat. It just destroys local function of the brain, so it can take your ability to talk or your ability to walk. Um, your ability to think for yourself. So it really affects people as who they are. The overall survival is less than two years, and that's in the best case scenario. Most people um, die within less than a year. And so far, we do not have any therapeutic options for this type of cancer. And the biggest problem is we resect the cancer, we treat it with radiation and chemotherapy, but inevitably 100% uh, of them come back and this recurrence is what actually ended up taking patients' life. Our invention is a therapeutic tumor vaccine. Vaccines can be of two types, the preventative vaccine and therapeutic vaccine. Most of the time when people hear about vaccine, it's about preventative vaccine, like you know, flu vaccine, COVID vaccines. If you take the vaccine, you don't get the disease. For therapeutic vaccine, the concept is a little di different. We can't stop people so far from getting the brain cancer. However, we can take the tumor cells and we can modify with this um, engineered fusion cytokine called GIF7. We can take these tumor cells and put it back to patients like a vaccine in their arm or, or in their leg where the tumor cell will make this fusion cytokine that boosts your immune system. So fusion cytokines or fuser kinds is taking two separate proteins made by the immune system, a bit like putting pig wings on a pig. And you know what? We got pigs flying. So if you introduce this fusion cytokine into a malignant cell, it can't hide anymore. And your immune system goes, whoa, and goes and destroys it. We're vaccinating with their own cancer cell to teach their body that here is a foreign uh, an uh, antigen that's growing as cancer and prime the immune system to identify that. So when the tumor tries to come back, the vaccine has already primed your immune system and it kills the tumor cells before it grows and becomes a problem again. And lo and behold, it worked swimmingly well for a type of cancer that notoriously doesn't respond at all to the immune system. And in the mouse model where we have tested this vaccine, we have found that 100% of the mice survive long-term once they are treated with this vaccine. One could argue that technology could be deployed in other cancer use cases, but we got this one up and running, and we do want to focus on those applications, clinical applications that have a true unmet need. But the very exciting thing here is UW leveraging the intellectual talent of its rock star scholars and MacGyvering those technologies into a platform that everybody can recognize is of utility. The Wisconsin idea, basically. 
And that's what I'm excited about, leveraging the innovations coming out of this terrific discovery engine, which is University of Wisconsin. Hi, I'm Andy Dateen, Director of Licensing at Wharf. To learn more about this high potential technology, please use the information on your screen. And to learn more about other high potential technologies, please like or subscribe.